Welcome back. Well, I want to touch on something that we haven't seen in quite a while, and I know that makes a lot of you happy, but let's talk about the seasonal snow total so far. This is coming from the National Weather Service in the Twin Cities area, so the Twin Cities office. This is for October through January because we're only in the start of February. So far, we're sitting at 7.3 inches, which is pretty pathetic out there. We are on track to gain the crown for the least snowiest winter, and we are keeping track of that because we need another like 7 to 14 inches or so. 7 inches, excuse me, to get up to about 14 inches so that we don't take that crown. But it's not looking like that. So for the seasonal average, we should be at about 30 inches of snow for the season right now. We are, um, we are shy of that by about 22, almost 23 inches shy from where we should be snow total wise. So again, we are on track to get the crown for the least snowiest winter um, that happened. I believe in 1930, 1931 was that season where it was the least snowiest. So we might take that crown away from there. Now, yesterday we talked about, are we gonna break yesterday's record? I know the high was a little bit lower than what the record was looking at, um, sitting at, which was at 50 degrees and our official high at the Mankato airport, 50 degrees. So we didn't break the record, but we did tie the record, which was set back in 1987. So now this record will sit at 50 degrees in 1987 and in 2024. Now going forward through today, the good news is less cloud coverage than anticipated. So we get to see more sunshine starting off clear and quiet, not even dealing with any fog out there. And again, that's because the cloud coverage just didn't happen like we thought it was going to overnight. So you can thank the lack of cloud coverage to not have to deal with super foggy conditions this morning. Temperatures as you head out, a little bit of a chill in the air. Upper 20s, low to mid 30s. We're at 31 here in Mankato. Mason City as well as Slayton, we are still as low as 28 degrees in Owatonna. Fairmont, Jack, uh, St. James, Wyndham, Olivia, and Marshall. We are up to 36 degrees in Spencer. Winds coming right out of the east right now, anywhere from 5 to 15 miles an hour. We are looking at a light breeze anywhere from about 15, up to 15 miles an hour. Occasional gust up to 20. But again, with that sunshine, it's going to feel fantastic out there. And here's a look at that satellite radar imagery. Again, little to no cloud coverage overnight. We've got a few clouds starting to kind of form and develop out to the west. And that is something that we are going to see as the day goes on, is that cloud coverage kind of developing through the afternoon hours. But don't worry, we are still going to see a lot of sunshine. I do want to point out that this is showing those clouds moving in through the early afternoon hours. As of right now, none of the models that we use are projecting that we're going to stay clear going into tonight. But given the upper atmosphere conditions and how dry it is right now, we are likely to see clear skies going into the evening hours. So we'll hold on to that sunshine through the day before those clouds move in for tomorrow. We'll see some pockets of sunshine tomorrow and then gradual clearing as we make our way into Sunday. 43 for the high today. Again, gradual increase in clouds expected. We're going to drop down tonight, but take a look at this. We are looking at those records for this weekend as we are kind of close to either meeting them or breaking them. I know it's a couple degrees difference, but that all depends on the sunshine and things like that. So we are going to watch these records very closely going into the upcoming weekend. Now tonight we are going to drop to low of 31 degrees by tomorrow morning. And here's a look at your extended forecast. Again, temperatures mid to upper 40s, a mix of sunshine and cloud coverage. Next week we are tracking a cold front that's going to bring in a chance of showers to a wintry mix Friday morning, dropping those temperatures back into the 30s by next weekend. Stay tuned, we'll be back after the break.